you know we're going to do some fishing one of these days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen rigs there. Got some more in there somewhere. Yeah, they're all beat up. The ones in there ain't worth looking at. These here, there's not an expensive one in the bunch. They're all dirty and dusty. Look at the spider webs. I'm going to take each one of these reels apart and clean it, lubricate them, whatever is necessary. Here we have a South Bend K25. South Bend K25 on a Shakespeare rod. 5 foot 6 inch Shakespeare rod. RSC 56-2M. Action medium. 6 to 12 pound line. Made in China. Now how would I ever know that was made in China? Boy, that's a springy son of a gun. I'm going to rig up several of these poles when I have a guest with me fishing and want to catch some crabbies or something. I might have to put some string on there. It feels a little frayed. I guess I'm going to get me a big roll of spring. string. But when I have some guests with me that don't have a pole, I can oblige them. You know I'm going to build a rod rack for holding these things. Here we have a Shakespeare rod. Durango. I don't see the size real on there. Yeah, here we go. SP 60-2M, six foot medium action, six to ten pound line. And the reel is a mantis, Shakespeare mantis. Gear ratio. 49 ball bearings you know that thing needs cleaned up that's fairly stiff right there I'd, I'd say that's medium action we could whoop a bass in with that booger bear thought I'd take some of these up on the porch today and clean them it's supposed to rain here's an old push button job eat up with rust A quality product, Daiwa. There's a push button Daiwa. I got a Daiwa laying up there on the front of the boat somewhere. It's been laying up there for some two years. S60. Daiwa X60. It's a flimsy light action rod. Catch a brim or something on it pretty good. Something like that you wouldn't hesitate to put in the hands of a kid. He can't hurt it now. And one with a pink reel. Pink rod. Maybe it was my daughter's. It don't even have a handle on it. We'll throw that back in the wannabe pile. Splash four and a half foot spinning rod. I don't know. I could transfer another reel to it. We will hang on to a four and a half foot rod just for a child. I'm sure a child could handle it a whole lot better than a grown up. Hang on to that rod. We did those two. We did the dial while we did that one. I guess we we're right here. Here's a rod with no reel on it. Shakespeare. Graphite composite. 6 to 12 pound line. 6 foot 6. It's a long one. Flimsy. This was one of my dad's rods, I think. Here we got one I used for a good many years. Best favorite rod I ever had as a child was a Fluger. This is a Kingfisher K24 made by Garcia on the Shimano 6 to 12 pound line rod made in Korea. It's got some a good action to it, graphite rod. Let's put a better reel on that one. I got enough for half the YouTubers in, in YouTube land to come along and go fishing with me. This one is nasty. Shakespeare SP 56 2M 6 to 12 
pound, five foot six action medium. The eyes look good on it. The reel ain't diddly. Maybe we can clean it up, but it looks rusted and shot. That one's, I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'll save the rod and stash the kind of reel is it? It is Fintech, F-I-N-T-E-K, Silver Spin, X times 2M. Look at that loose polar bear. I like the rod, don't care for the reel. Okay. Two rods that need a reel. This one's going in the scrap bin. Put your glasses on, Walter. You know you can't read without them. Here's a push button job. Looks like a Zibco. Yep, Zibco 202 automatic anti reverse. It had a bent handle on it. I straightened it a while ago with a pair of pliers. Seems to work pretty good. We'll rig that booger bear up for a light panfish. Here's one I bought down in Florida one year on vacation at a Kmart or Walmart or some grocery store. It might have been a grocery store. I think it was a Publix. And they had a display on sale and I was near the beach and I'm gonna go where the hook. It's just El Cheapo. I think I paid $20, $30 for it. Typhoon, Silver Bend, South Bend Typhoon. It is seven foot spinning rod, two piece medium to heavy duty. Model TC-556. You know, we, we rigged that booger up for catfish. Put me some 20 pound line on there. That looks about, if it's 20 pound line on there, I don't know. Problem with the line I got on this rod some of it's been on there a good many years does it rot here we got a cirrus c-i-r-r-u-s shakespeare I already we came across one of these a while ago nice stiff action for the kingfisher must have two of these That's a short, stubby rod. Okay. This one I definitely need to clean up. The Shakespeare. One piece of aluminum. Series BC 4000K. I didn't look at the rod, did I? And Shakespeare Sears. Here we have a Shakespeare S110. Nice good condition rod. Sport Fisher. Medium action. Made in Korea. Damn, that is a pretty rod. Looks like I had some pretty heavy duty line on it. I must have been doing some bass fishing with that. What do we got here? Turn it the right way, Walter. XL1. Quantum Micro XL1. Here's the mate to that one I said was my father's rods and reels. It's still got a reel on it. It is a hard to read son of a gun. Feather touch cast control. Oh, 
I don't know, Zebco. I was going to say I don't know, it's right here on the push button. Yeah, I could spend a month cleaning all these reels. Anyway, you reckon Walter could catch a fish with one of them cotton pickers? We're going to find out for long. Thanks for listening to my vlog today.